sun beat down I heard the radio walk I was driving Trees went by Me and Dale were singing A little runaway I was flying Hey everybody, it's a new day and we are headed back to Renton, Washington. We're looking for Bigfoot on this trip. If we find him, we'll let you know. He's insane. I'm pretty sure if there was a Bigfoot, we would have already found him. And if not, he's the best hide and seek player in the whole world. Whole world. I told you guys this morning how the girl tarped and everything, and I was all proud of her. And she got a little blister boo boo on her finger, right? Oh, the poor little thing. You're right. Oh, the poor little. See, he thinks that he has stories and that he's funny. What someone is not telling you is that on the front of these is like a bar that goes across that he decided to sit on. Well, he's tying all the elastics up, right? So, he's tying all the elastic and you got to pull on it and all that stuff. So, as he pulls on it, he falls off backwards. Now, he was sitting, so it wasn't a big fall. But, he starts yelling for me to pick him up. Apparently, his feet are trapped under the bar in front of where he's sitting. And, he's holding the rope, laying on his back like this, yelling at me to get him up. I tried to get him up one-handed and I couldn't because he was no help whatsoever because apparently he was, thought he was maimed at this time. He still has all his appendages. So I had to let my elastic go and had to let my work get undone so I could go over and pick him up and save him. I don't know what he'd do without me. Now, what she didn't tell you there because she's all yakety yakety yak is that while I'm laying there flat on the floor on my on my back and my feet stuck under this leg thingy my back is going into spasms because I can no longer move so I said I'm a calm person right I can lose my arm I'm gonna be calm that's how I operate I go can you help me get up she she grabs my little finger and goes tug tug and I go no I really need help so she pulls a little bit harder now my back's in full blown, blown, blown spasms, right? So I have to broke break into a little profanity. I think I might have actually said a wordy dirt. Uh, it would have been something along the lines of mm, mm, uh, "Get me the uh, up now," right? So she did so. She did very well once she realized that it was a dire situation. From my angle, it did not look like death was imminent. So I wasn't that concerned either. She would have been if she was laying flat smack on her back like that. <sighs> He's such a whiner. Those headlights, it's like, kind of like he needs some juice from them, huh? You know, the headlights you were looking at earlier. Don't act all innocent over there. Headlights are the spice of life. You can ask Tim Cox that. Because we met Tim Cox today at the Hardee's. He was getting something to eat. Tim Cox will step in right now. Where are we at today, Tim? Um, in Illinois. Illinois. In Illinois. Yeah. Nobody knows. Nowhere <laughs> Illinois. La Fru or something like that. I think something like that. Yeah. Hey, we was just over here stopping to get some food and we run into Tim Cox here. And he wanted to tell you guys, hey, how you doing? How you doing, y'all? Ain't Tim Cox great? You gonna start making videos now, Tim? Yeah, I'm gonna start doing something like that. I hope so. I think everybody should make videos and tell us about their life on the road so we can share in the experience, right? Okay. Are you gonna go? <laughs> All right, we're gonna go now, and then we're gonna put this to some music for Tim, chasing that dream or whatever. I'm like that. Yeah. All right. Did y'all see Tim Cox? He's gonna make some videos for us too. He's a good old hand. Go over and subscribe to him if you want to, because he's going to be making video. Tim is my witness. He saw me get out of the truck and go back there and check a chain and get dirty. He said he would witness this. He would testify. 
And I ain't saying Tim's got the glaucoma or anything. You know, I mean, if that's what he saw, that's what he saw. I think she was just, just looking like she was checking something, because that's how she operates. She looks like she's doing something. You ready to get on down the road, girl, and we'll make some money? I tell you what, he's checking out the Buicks, he's checking out the headlights, and then he has the nerve to tell me that I don't know what I'm doing and a slacker. I think I told some of you this the other day. There's going to be some modifications to the truck. He's going to have to build a dog house out back. It ain't going to be for the dogs. It's going to be for him because he can't keep his eyes on his own automobile. A dog house? Why would I build her a dog house on the back of the sleeper when there's a perfectly good dog house in here? I ain't making one out there. I have to go. Somebody has to pick up the slack around here. And you know, I don't even know if he's falling anymore. I think he might be throwing himself on the ground just for pity at this point. But hey, what do I know? Y'all ready? I'm picking.